Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi, my name is Muhammad Abrol bin Ahmad Bashuri and today I would like to demonstrate a uh, simulation of my final year project entitled Implementation of Fuzzy Logic into Three-Phase Power Load Balancing System. Okay, first of all, open the MATLAB software and from this command window, we type fuzzy and then press enter and this fuzzy logic designer toolbox will be appeared. Then I would like to import my fuzzy logic assignment that I have done before. Okay, then we will have a close look up into the system. Okay, what well we can find this uh, block diagram, this block. Okay, this block is referred to the import in, input assignment. I'm sorry, this one is for output assignment. So we click, we double click there, and then we go for rule assignment. Just by double click this um, block. And the rules will be appeared here. Okay, just click file and then export. And export to workspace. And we rename it as um, fuzzy load balancing. Okay, just like that. And then um, the fuzzy logic will be import to workspace automatically. Okay, after finish setting up the fuzzy logic toolbox in the MATLAB. We now open up the simulink software and we construct this circuit just like this. Okay, so now it is voltage source. I have assigned it in 0 degrees, 120 degree, and this one is negative 120 degree, which indicates the system is balanced. Okay, in this project, I just uh, manipulate the value of resistance only because in real life um, it is rarely occurred when the voltage angle is uh, unbalanced. It is because of uh, the overloading process or the less loaded process will be always a problem because of the change in the value of impedance or the change in the value of load. So now we'll have a close look up. Okay, this one I assign 100. In each phase, I will assign 100 because I want to see the perfectly balanced load. Okay, this is one, this one is also 100. And we try to run. Okay, this P indicates 136 kilowatt, but no action taken. So it just only display the, the load in this uh, network. Okay, done. Then we have to manipulate the, the value of uh, impedance. Then uh, this one, uh, I would like to put 300 ohms. Um, this one uh, 200 this one 150 ohm okay this 65.53 less loaded okay then we change the value of resistance to a lower one this one i put 80 this one i would like to put 50 and this one um 90 Okay, we will have a look after this. We run the simulation. And this one also, 235.2, it, it indicates the system is overloaded. Okay, for this time, I have included a fuzzy logic system. Okay, we rename it, we rename it as in the workspace, fuzzy load balancing. So it can tell you in this simulation. And just like uh, the previous procedure, we ensure it is 0 degrees. 120, 120 degrees and negative 120 degrees and now the load uh, I will take constant in all phases which is 100 ohms okay 100 ohms and also 100 ohms okay then we will run the simulation okay um, from the load reading it shows that it is 136 um, kilowatt. So it is a balanced system because it is still in the range of perfectly loaded system. So now I would like to um, increase the impedance in each phases. This one is the 300, this one um, 200, and this um, 150. Okay. So uh, we will have 
a higher impedance and we try to simulate the system is less loaded because it is 65.5 so the load addition will be plus 88.9 this one is 80 ohm oh, sorry and then this um 50 okay this one is um 90 okay then we will simulate system okay just like this 235 Okay, when the system is overload, the load action will be negative 75.7. .7. Okay, that is all from me. Thank you.